Okay, so here we're going to look at a couple of the unique muscles and patterns that are present within the bovine. To start out with is this very large muscle that we see right here on the lateral aspect of the thigh. Now in the equine, this is where we would see the separate biceps femoris and superficial gluteal. Well, in the bovine, the superficial gluteal has actually fused with the biceps femoris, creating this one very large muscle, which is the gluteobiceps muscle. If we reflect the gluteobiceps muscle, and now look just again on the caudal aspect of the middle gluteal, we can see this separate piece of muscle right here. That is the piriformis muscle. Again, on the caudal side or caudal aspect of this muscle, which is the middle gluteal. If we reflect the middle gluteal, again, we see this very noticeable and shiny tendon. That tendon is the tendon of the accessory gluteal muscle. And then if we look just deep to that muscle, we will see some more muscle fibers. And that right there is going to be the deep gluteal muscle. This is our tensor fascia lata in the bovine. A pretty good chunk of it has been removed. But if we move over to this cadaver, now we can see that expansive mass of muscle, which is the tensor fascia lata muscle. Here we're looking at the muscles of the crus and the bovine. And again, these are a little bit different than what it looks like in the equine. So we see this very large, most cranial, most superficial muscle of the crus. That is actually going to be the fibularis tertius muscle in the bovine just deep to that and most often fused on the deep side is this separate chunk of muscle that is actually easiest to tell the difference by the separated tendons down here distally. So this muscle again is fibularis tertius. This muscle lying just caudal to that is the long digital extensor muscle. Now if we flip both of those and reflect them again we can see a muscle mass that's lying right on the bone. That's this muscle right here. Again, the muscle that's always lying on the bone is the cranial tibial. So to review, in equine, the long digital extensor is the most superficial. The fibularis tertius is just deep to that and is mostly a tendon. And then the muscle lying on the bone is the cranial tibial. In bovine, that's flipped to where the fibularis tertius is the most superficial muscle. The long digital extensor is deep to and most often fused with the fibularis tertius. And finally, the cranial tibial is again lying on the bone. Down here, we see another muscle, a very small muscle that's really pretty much down here just on the metatarsus. That's going to be the short digital extensor and it's going to be in the same region in the equine. As we move caudally around the crus, we see this kind of triangular shaped muscle in the bovine. This muscle is not in the equine. This is the fibularis longus muscle. The next muscle caudally is going to be the lateral digital extensor muscle. And finally, we get to the lateral digital flexor muscle, this very large muscle on the caudal aspect of the tibia. This muscle that has been kind of cut but is still intact here is the soleus muscle of the bovine, just ventral to the lateral head of the gastrocnemius. If we look medially, again, we can see that very large, robust tendon present on the medial aspect of the crus. That's going to be the medial digital flexor muscle. And again, we can also see the lateral digital flexor as the muscle present here. Now, however, we can see this separate tendon that is running over the lateral digital flexor on the caudal aspect of the crus, and that is going to be the tendon of the caudal tibial muscle. 